Project Mercury, America's first manned space program, lasted from 1958 to 1963. The Mercury 7, test pilots all, Scott Carpenter, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, Gus Grissom, Wally Schirra, and Alan Shepard, Jr. and Deke Slayton. Their task proved that man could fly into orbit around the Earth and return live and well to talk about it. Shepard was first in Freedom 7. His 15-minute suborbital hop on May 5, 1961, proved the United States was catching up with the Soviet Union. Three weeks later, President Kennedy's I call for a lunar landing. should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. America was launched into a race with the Soviets to be the first on the moon. On February 20, 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth in Friendship 7. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, understand, go for at least seven orbits. Carpenter did three orbits in May of 62. Shira, six, five months later. Cooper wound up the program with 22 orbits in May 1963. Gemini, the bridge to Apollo, used a more advanced vehicle carrying two crewmen. Its goals, test the skills and endurance of the astronauts and practice the rendezvous and docking procedures and other maneuvers for the moon voyage. Astronauts flew 10 Gemini missions between March of 1965 and November 1966. On the second, Ed White, secured by a golden tether, performed America's first spacewalk. He liked it so much, he didn't want to come in. Gemini 6 and 7 rendezvoused in orbit and maneuvered in close formation. Gemini 12 confirmed the docking procedures tested on Gemini's 8, 10, and 11. Astronauts got a warm welcome aboard the carrier following splashdown. The Gemini flights were over in November 1966. The crews were ready for the great voyage. But before it could begin, tragedy intervened. Astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee, assigned to the first Apollo mission, perished when fire engulfed the interior of their spacecraft during a launch rehearsal on January 27, 1967. Sixteen months later, a Saturn 1B rocket launched Apollo 7 into Earth orbit. Astronauts practiced rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watched their live TV pictures of the Earth from orbit. We have you go for orbit here. Go for orbit. Beautiful. This is Apollo 8 uh, coming to you live from the moon. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. Let the drive 
Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. Apollo 10, the first rehearsal in the lunar environment. And then Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. Uh, you, can, you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in an exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. Well, I guess you have to keep my on the road. 